back to the beauty brief. We're here with our lovely model Kirsty and we're going to do a really fun and easy spring makeup look on her today. So we've um, we've done our base, we've put on the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk in number two um, and we've added a little bit extra coverage with the Vichy Day and the Blonde in Opal. So we're going to start with the eyes and we're going to put a base on the eyes. We're using Max Groundwork and we're going to put that all over the eyelid. So the MAC paint pots are a great base for underneath your eyeshadow and you can wear them on their own as well. So they're really versatile. So we're going to put a really light wash of colour over, over the leg. We're going to use a taupey colour. Any kind of taupey colour will do. I'm going to go back into the Smashbox palette and use this colour here. this colour all over the eyelid and just build the colour up until you get it as dark as you want it to be and I'm using the Real Tex Techniques shading brush, I really love this brush, I bought it the other day and it's really good for blending under the eye area. So we're going to put a really soft um, flick on Kirsty. We're going to use a little gel pot from Rimmel and it's black and I'm going to use um, my eye definer brush from Bobbi Brown. I normally take it from the corner of the eye and it's quite easy to do it with the eyes open as well. And then if you close for me and then just bring it back in. And then I'm just going to build this up. I want it to be a really soft line. Just open. Just open for me. So again, just mapping out where I want the line to be, taking it from the corner of the eyelid and close. And then just coming back in on myself. So we're just going to soften the eyeliner. I'm going to mix a little bit of a dark brown and a black together and just soften the edges. And again, I'm just using the a uh, Real Technique shading brush, buffing out that line. This makes the line a little bit less harsh, a little bit softer. So we're going to pop some mascara on and I picked up this Barry M Showgirl Extra Volume Black Mascara the other day in uh, Superdrug. Um, so we're going to use this. Just look down for me. So we've finished the eyes, we're just going to conceal now. So I've just mixed two colours together. Just look up for me from Bobbi Brown. So I kind of go between using a brush or my fingers and people, it just depends what I think will blend it easier. And I sometimes use the Beauty Blender sponge as well. So we're just going to fill in Kirsty's brows now. So she's got amazing eyebrows. So we're just going to fill them in a little bit. And I'm using the Anastasia Brow Wiz in Soft Brown. And 
then just brush through them at the end again. I'm just going to powder a little bit, just through the T-zone. So we're just going to pop a little bit of bronzer on the skin and I'm using the rosy Huntington Whiteley Bronzer from, for Autograph. And this is the lightest shade. So we're just going to put this on the high points of Kirsty's face, just cheekbones and through the temples. And do the jawline as well. So to finish off the skin, we're just going to use, we're going to add a little bit of a glow um, and we're going to use Max Soft and Gentle. Again, just on the high points of the face and the cheekbones. And you can pop a little bit just in the cupid's bow and it just kind of makes the lips pop. So to finish the look, we're just going to pop on a really um, lovely coral spring summer lip. You can use any coral lipstick. I've picked one out of um, one of my lip palettes. Um, I'm not sure of the name just now, but I'll find out and leave it in the link below. It's probably more of a kind of orangey coral. I'm just going to get you to block for me. Perfect. So this is our finished spring summer makeup look. Uh, we actually took a little bit of inspiration from Lindsay Wicks in this shot. I'm, again, I'm not sure where it's from, but we'll find out if we can and put it in the description box below.